it. Not fair. Because you, you took a shortcut. Hi, guys. I made a song, you know. You want to hear it? <laughs> a song? <laughs> Can you even Me sing? Well, let's play tag instead. <laughs> Tig is it. No, I'm not. Not anymore. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> Winter Tale. No, oh, King. Kids, today I will tell you a very old story I know about a bear and a magical song. Hear that, Mila? About a song right up your alley. <laughs> it happened a long time ago. There lived a bear who was very strong and kind taking care of the entire taiga and making sure everything was in order. But then winter came, bringing the blizzard with it. It howled and raged and covered the forest in a snowy blanket. All the animals hid in their burrows and the bear grew sad and lonely. He wandered around the forest all by himself and bellowed in a terrible voice, disturbing everyone's sleep and scaring baby animals. Suddenly, a small bird flew over. It sat on a tree branch next to the bear and sang a song. It sang about winter ending and spring coming back about the sun warming up the earth again, about plants bursting into bloom and animals leaving their burrows to play. The bear listened to the song until he fell asleep. And ever since that time, as soon as winter comes, the bear climbs into his lair and sleeps there until... Papa Pandiga, is it true that the bear sleeps with his paw in his mouth? Uh, how am I supposed to know? There is no creature fearless enough to sniff around the bear's home. Tig, what do you think? Is it a front paw that the bears have in their mouth? Or a hind one? No, a front one. Hind paws are too far. But to know for sure, we gotta wait till Pandiga falls asleep. Why wait? We can take a peek at Bealzy and see everything. Leo! Are you sure about that? There's nothing to be afraid of. I'll just take a peek and get out. Ah! Leo! Leo! <laughs> again if he listens to a lullaby. Can I be the one to sing? Be my guest. Go ahead and sing. Why don't you dance while you're at it? This is serious business here. When I was small, my mom used to tell me stories before bedtime. Bingo! A boring story. That's exactly what we need. It'll put him right to sleep. Leo, but how are we going to lure him in? Piece of cake. Snowball tree berries! Huh. He's coming! 
In position, everyone! Dig! Do it! All the trees in a delicate veil The earth will put on a fluffy white hat Sleep tight, baby bear, rest your head, have no fear Have wonderful I dreams. don't think he's falling asleep Like a mole in his burrow, like a fox in his hole And afterwards winter will bid you goodbye And spring will arrive in the blink of an eye Green trees and bright flowers and murmuring creeps so warm, but for now you should sleep. Well done, Mila! That was so great! Thank you so much, Magic Birdie. How should I grab him? Gently. Careful not to wake him up. Boy, he's heavy. Here goes. Hey, thanks, Mila, for having my back. <laughs> Come on. It's nothing. So, is he... Asleep? Yep, with his front paw in his mouth. Mila, why didn't you tell us you were such a great singer? My turn. Oh, sleep tight, baby bear. Rest your head, have no fear. Oh, come on. What's so funny? I'm not that bad. <laughs> like, like mole in his burrow, like, like fox in, in his hole. And afterwards, winter will bid you goodbye. And spring will arrive in the blink of an eye. The air so warm. But for now, you should sleep. And that's how a good song.
can make a, uh, uh, can make a miracle.